maybe really tickle our vanity. The next poem is called Vanity. In my youth one day, I learned that good and bad people have all a quality that is called vanity. Everyone wants to communicate to us what they know. They believe that everything that they are thinking of interests us, but they are wrong. We don't want to know anything. We already know everything. Why listen to someone else who is like us, who is human like everyone? That's true. And that's uh, what uh, leads me to the next poem called I Am Still Young. It's a bit of a reflection about uh, youth, about uh, who you are and uh, how other people look at you. So here we go. I am still young. I sense in the air a smell of ageing. Outside, there in the street, I meet a beautiful young woman who looks beyond me and not at me. Going further down, and I hear a friend say to me, do you remember when we were young? And then I see my children who have already grown up and they have an air of wanting to conquer the world without me. Perhaps it is only my body, my appearance, that is ageing. I don't care. I am still young. But the reality is that autumn, the autumn of our life comes to all of us. Maybe this is my autumn uh, before the winter time. Uh, and then, of course, whatever happens afterwards. This one here is called The Autumn Harvest. The autumn of my life arrives where the fruits of past summers begin to appear ripe. And I gather them, these fruits, one at a time, so that they don't rot on the laden tree. I would almost defer to another time this harvest, but nature doesn't allow me. And then that internal truth presents itself, warning me of the reality of fruits. There is in each one of them that magic moment when they are ready to be picked. Taking them too early or too late prohibits you to enjoy them at the peak of their maturity. The happiness that every fruit gives comes from the rich natural taste of the harvest made on time. And the other happiness you will find donating them to those who don't have any. Sharing your fruits with others, your neighbours, becomes almost a necessity. And it is in this generosity that you find the crumbs of your future winter. Memories are the only things that will remain to keep us company in eternity. That's why I'm doing this particular shoot of my poetry. Maybe I'm gathering my fruits all in one basket and offering them to you, the listener or the reader. I hope that you can um, pick from this basket whatever pleases you. Enjoy them these poems on reflection. The next one is called Missed Snow Trip. You know, sometimes we miss out on doing things in life. We would like to have been there, but we weren't. We would have liked to have gone on a snow trip, but we didn't. But then we fantasise, gee, if I had gone, I would have been able to enjoy myself with my friends over there all together. So I missed out. Sometimes missing out is so strong that it actually becomes a very strong memory. So see what happens in this poem. Missed snow trip. A lack of physical strength renders the willing spirit powerless. And yet the dreams and the mind change the arid days in fields pulsating with people 
of snow just fallen from the humid sky. The image, like a golden statue, remains fixed in time. And fixed like a statue, I will always have with me the unlived memories of when I, with a sprained ankle, went up with my friends to see to touch the white of the mountains. Yes, it's true. Even this year amongst them, I lived a memorable day. I sang, I joked and I laughed with everyone, with everyone I spoke this year. And amongst these memories, I saw once again those dreaming eyes and those loved features. Even longer we live the moment of this sprained angle. It will remain with me forever. It will stay amongst the crowd of the past which, like a sharpened arrow, cuts into the wings of time. It betrayed the willingness, the missed desire, the company and the lost memories. But there is always an alternative. Finally, the most beautiful things are found amongst those people who know how to live every moment and events which have never happened. So there you are. Things that you miss out on remain very strong memories indeed. <laughs>